Texas I've been coming down here in this part of the country for a long time. And uh, when I first started out in the ministry, I was by myself. I uh, play guitar and sing songs and didn't know anybody. Uh, uh, everybody knows who Clyde is, right? Junior John, better known as Junior John. Well, anyways, he got me started in this ministry thing. Yeah. Yeah. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today. Don't tell him where I'm being. But, you know, I think about, you know, the uh, coming down here and meeting around families. And that's how I got to know a lot of, a lot of families here. And, uh, and it's all based through ministry, you know. There used to be a lot of home services, a lot of revivals, camp meetings, you know. There's always something going on. My grandma used to say, I'm going down south because there's always something going on down south. And there's always a red church, there was white church, there was, golly, there was, there was Little Stecker, there was uh, Tabernacle Fame, the... There's one over here, here, point the wrong direction. Little stacker by the railroad tracks. There was churches everywhere. And thinking back, you know, times coming around, you know, it's an honor and a privilege to be here amongst you today. Because how many know that in the Bible there's so many promises in the Bible, but you know, tomorrow's not one of them. And that's one of the things that you have to think about. And apply it to your life. You know, where are where do you stand with God today? Where do you stand with God today? You know, you've heard the word, you heard the songs, you heard the testimonies. But you gotta ask yourself, where do I stand with you today, Lord? Am I am I where I'm supposed to be with God? Am I walking the way I'm supposed to be with God? Am I doing what I'm supposed to be? You know, every day I do a, a check on myself. In a ministry, you know, we're accountable for a lot of things. I carry the word. I carry the anointing. I carry the music. I carry the ministry. You know, we have a full-time ministry, and, and you know, I was, you know, getting around to it. You know, when I first started coming down here, I I, I know I I met my brother at a little place called the the um, theater here back in the day, and. I see them come marching in one day and I said, who in the world are those guys? They're trying to be country guys. And then didn't know later on in life, you know, I would come across with him and we would hook up and we'd start playing. Ever since then, we've been going places. We've traveled together, we've worked together, we you know, it's just and it seems like it always boils down to meeting him. You know, everything that we do, you know, always comes back to me and we're always willing to go where it's needed. And I thank God, you know, I was talking to him today, and was, you know, a lot of times I might thank God for the cell phones. <laughs> but sometimes your phone gets shut off and then you just don't know what's going on. But today, you know, we, we come and we, myself, I come and encourage you. And let you know that we love you and that we care for you and that we are praying for you. The most important thing we are praying for you. And through every song that has been sung from time to time to these, to these burials, you know, there's always a message in each song that's been sung. And, you know, and I, I pray that there was a seed planted in somebody's life. You know, how does a seed get planted? Well, when you hear it, it touches you on the inside. It touches your heart. Maybe it makes you cry. Or maybe it makes you want to rejoice. That's how a seed comes into your life through the song. And I learned this a long time ago. Sometimes, sometimes, the Word of God may not always greet somebody. May not bring them in right away. But a song, God uses the songs. God uses the music to speak to people's hearts. And that's the way God plants seeds through the, through the songs and through the music that God has provided. Even with tribal hymns, 
That's one of the things that's slowly dying out is the tribal hymns because our young people don't want to pick it up no more. Although I know in my tribe we just have a few that still sing or shine English. You know, when I was growing up, you know, I used to sing with my grandmother and I used to sing with my mom, but I could never lead. You know, I know, I know a lot of her songs. I'm also a shy and dry, scared to lead them. But I sing to them, you know, I sing to God. Sometimes I just sing to God that way in, in you know, what God has given us. You know, but I, I thank God that we could come here today and you know, I was talking to her today, you know, the first thing that she mentioned, yeah, we're going to eat. She didn't say nothing about singing or anything. I heard eat. I said, I'm there. And I said, you know, that's, you could be going, you could be on the other side of the state, you hear eat, boy, how do you make your way there as quick as you can? But I thank God that we can be here today. I, I want to say, does anybody in the family want to say anything to the family? When I come up here and say a comment or a story or something, you know, you know, I'll open it up to you if you want to come and say something for the family. Maybe you want to say something. Anybody? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I know Eddie's got a testimony. I want him to come. I think he's going to get away with it. Come on, brother, don't rush your curve. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't make me bring the mic to you. Come and testify. Or you can testify right there. Thank you. 